Would you believe me if I said that we're leaving for DC in a few hours and this is how I currently look? Okay, well you should believe me because that's absolutely the truth. So right now, as you can tell, I'm in the bathroom. I'm about to get this hair together. I'm thinking, I'm really thinking for this look, for this weekend, because I'm getting my hair done on Monday. I want to do a half up. Oh my God. Shut up. <laughs> I want to do a half up, half down type of look. So that way I can just pin this back underneath like the cap. You get the vision and then do like a little part. Yeah, I think that's going to, I think that's going to chew. I think that's going to eat. So I'm about to start on it now. But we're going to D.C. because um, my boyfriend went to Howard. Uh, and he has to go there for some type of conference because he's a Q. Very unfortunately for me. Just kidding. But he's a Q. So there's some type of conference. Or something or another I don't really I really don't really know I know he's on a friendship committee or something but I'm just going because I want to go he said I gotta go to DC I said okay we're going to DC what are we gonna do <laughs> so I'm really just taking along for this trip but it worked out because Ramadan is done it's like the first weekend like out of Ramadan so I'm like this is perfect perfect time for me to go hang out i have some friends in dc i'm gonna go see i usually don't make the trek down to dc that much not even because it's not far if you know it's like two three hours from philly not because it's not far but i hate driving on the highway like i'm really a city girl as a city girl i just don't be driving on the highway like that's so out of my depth at any point in time in my life i could just take a street like Philly is so straight in the sense that like you could take Broad Street from one end of the city to the other end. What do I look like getting on the highway? That's not my thing. So he's going to be driving. Passenger princess loading. I'm just going in with some of this Olopex bonding oil because I want my hair to stay moisturized. The reason it looks so trash is because I worked out yesterday and it was a lifting day and I'm not trying to put heat on my hair because like I said... I'm getting it done on Monday. I'm getting the silk press with my girl, Little Miss Enhanced Beauty. And that silk press will last me for like a week, hopefully. And then I'm getting braids because we're going on vacation. So I was like, I'm going to record a little weekend in DC vloggy vlog since it should be fun. It'll be me in like rare form. I haven't really been out and about in like a month, even probably longer than that because leading up to Ramadan, I wanted to prep for Ramadan. Do you know, want to know something so crazy? I can't braid like that, but when I'm talking to y'all, y'all see how quickly I just did this? I'm just braiding it, my hair down because it's going to be pinned in the back for the half up, half down that we're about to get started on. And I just don't want it in the way. And I'm going to just take a bobby pin and pin it down. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, that's my life. Really excited to be going on a little road trip. So this is how it looks in the back. If you're curious and want to see. That's what we're working with. Okay, so I absolutely positively lied to y'all. I did not go with that i actually forgot well not really but i have a u part wig which is this so like this my hair this little thing i'm gonna cover this up now that i can see on top of it with the camera but yeah it's gonna look like this let me take these off so i can put some bio suit on i was just trying this on to see if i liked it but since i do i'm gonna go with the u part wig because is only a little slather of my hair out here in the front. And I feel like this is perfect. Like it's just enough. And I won't have these clips on my head because that's the real reason I didn't want to do it. But I won't have these clips on for like a long time, just for a few days. And I might bring, this is dramatic and extra because it's really only two days that I'm there, but I might bring 
the ponytail part and in case I just want to put my hair into a long pony. But for right now, we're just going to rock with this look because I like it and I feel like it looks cool, natural, and my hair can look a mess under it and I can take it off at night and get a good sleep, you know. I'm just doing some pieces. You also really can't see it like this because I'm pulling out a few of my hairs. So that's just because if the wind blow, like, all right, pretend it's the wind. Whoosh. You know, you can't really see that it's just a U part wig. So that's what I'm going for. And right under here, you see, that's like the first track. So we just want this to cover up and blend really well. I'm gonna add a few more curls in it because it's not giving how I want it to. But yeah, this is gonna be a look. And then I'll lay my baby hairs. I really tried with that whole uh, half up, half down thing. But that synthetica needed a lot more love than I was willing to, to do. And this is convenient and easy. Put a few, a few curls for the girls in it. Cover the tracks, call it a day. When I want to take it off, just pop it off. Go to sleep. You know, I have a vision. Just trying to make sure that it's laid a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add some curls and then I'll be right back. I'm back. This is it. This is the hair. Lightly curled, lightly tousled. And again, just a you part wig. Now I'm about to pack my bag. This is his stuff. He has to wear a suit, I guess. Really official business in his little suitcase. I need to get a little suitcase or a little bag because I don't know where I'm gonna put my stuff in. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I definitely am going to brunch tomorrow with my friend Sarah. And it's like a DC brunch. Those are official. I need a cute little fit. You gotta get into this. This is serious business. First weekend out post Ramadan. I think I'm gonna go with these cargos that I'm pretty much obsessed with. But they may be too heavy. I might just bring them just in case because I really do enjoy them. With just like a black bodysuit that may be basic. Also have a pair of white jeans. They're in this bag down here that I could probably rock. I don't know. I'll be back after I figure out my fits. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready. I have my bags packed. It looks really dramatic that I have these two bags. But it's really not. I put my makeup in a whole entire separate bag. And then I have all this camera equipment since I'm going to be vlogging. And then I wanted my shoes in a separate bag. And I'm going to wear a different pair of shoes. The fit is pretty basic today. Just because we're about to drive down. If we do something later, I might change because I have a different outfit. Let me show you. So it's just this little hoodie with a shirt underneath. Because I can take the hoodie off or unzip the hoodie and put on a pair of cargo pants. And they could be like a really cute fit. Like very low effort cute. So this is just it. With some just little leggings. And I'm probably going to do my makeup in the car. Since I'll be not driving. And I washed Xavier's hair. Packed my bags. Packed up all my camera equipment. And I keep having like phantom. What are those? Like phantom hunger pains. Where it's like oh my god I can't wait to eat. And then I realize Ramadan's over and I can eat. It's just crazy crazy how your mind changes but anyways we're i must have shut these blinds actually he don't like them when i leave them open and we're not here but i'm about to shut these i need my plants need a little bit of light but i can shut this and then we're good to go gonna get in the car and drive off into the sunset
made it to our room. I just gave you the little tour, the little rundown. It's super cute. At this point, I feel as though Citizen M should just sponsor me for the rest of my life because I love a Citizen M. We stayed there in the Netherlands, and now we're here in D.C. This is the second location. We stayed at the Capitol Hill one on Valentine's Day two years ago, and this time we're at the Noma one. I'm trying to open this window, but I forgot everything's automatic, so I can see if there's a view. There is not a view, but I low-key, I low-key think I may be able to see my car from here, but I'll figure that out later. Anyways, it was a very lovely, almost three-hour drive, and I feel like we would have gotten here quicker, but I guess it's called the Beltway. The Beltway had traffic on the way here, but people always talk about DC traffic, so I feel like it was just we what we anticipated nonetheless i'm gonna change into cargo pants because i currently just have on leggings and then we'll probably go and get some food i'm hungry so if i'm hungry i know xavier's probably hungry and yeah then we're gonna start our night i think i'm gonna meet up with my friend kaylin i'm trying to figure out where she is geographically right now and where she should meet us and we we're going to try to go to stk um because apparently they had closed the one here and then reopened it but they do a happy hour until 6 30 there and then get some real food later but i don't know what we're about to do but at least we're here safely and securely and in the hotel that's great i love it so yeah we're about to just have a night out i also did my makeup in the car and for it to be car makeup, it came out pretty good. Like, this part is a little messed up. But I can just probably wipe that away real quick. Yeah, I think I can just get that off real quick before we go anywhere. But yeah, I did it in the car because I'm like, we just have time. We just have some free time. And I want to get it done so that way now I don't have to do it. I can just leave the house just like this. So, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. <laughs> Kaylin has been here for a matter of like 10 minutes. We already took a shot. We're about to order okay. another one. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm not prepared. It's a welcome to DC party. I need to leave immediately. <laughs> You're on the wrong vibe right now. You need to eat for sustenance. I don't want to eat for sustenance. Yeah, I want to eat for you, deliciousness. No, you're going to have to do that at fucking Illili tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I Today, did. Today, you're it. just going to have to eat for what the fuck we eat for. Oh, oh, that's how he is. He's talking to me like, this is Sparta. <laughs> All right, I'm going to calm down. <laughs> right now, we're going to CVS. Kaylin don't have no type of joke. The cup joke. Oh my god, am I drunk already or what? You are. No type of coat. I'm just here for all vibes. vibes. Here we are. It's okay. Let me show you the street. Oh, I littered. I'm so sorry to DC. <laughs> <laughs> this is the street that we're speeding now. <laughs> Almost I'm fast. I'm supposed to go on a date over there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but this is 349, so you might as well get that. That Nigga, one. What the fuck? Why? Because these aren't the set. I already got these colors. I like these colors. They give Easter. But Easter well, all right. Well, then get hold this. Hold on, hold on. I see what you're trying to say. It's cheaper. I can do like this. One, two, three. How many of four, them five, is six, it? Six, seven. These it's seventy. Nigga. It's seven. Seven. Seven D. Seven D. Split up into seven groups of ten. He need to get these cars for his little conference, and we just in the CVS. It's a big CVS. It got two floors. Deluxe. Why can't you use those? Oh. He got to make sure that everybody have enough. Where'd you go? Oh my God, Kaylin, I lost you. <laughs> I'm just wandering and shit. <laughs> I propped us up. I love that. Go on with it. 
There's no way. There's really no way that I should feel the way that I feel right now. Am I in the same hoodie as last night? Yes. I am. I had to. I, ha I had to do it for the culture. Please. Let me talk to you real quick. I'm trying to figure out where I can put you. I'm struggling. Oh, my God. I'm really struggling. I did wash my face, though, so that's great. Shout out to me. Points for me. Let me flip my, my bonnet. Um... Yeah, we were everywhere in the world. Oh my god, I just burped and it tasted like chicken. We were everywhere in the whole entire world last night. It felt like, but I also don't be leaving the house like that. And it was just Ramadan for a whole month, so I really wasn't even outside like that. Anyways, so boom, we were trying to go to STK for their happy hour. I told y'all that I'm pretty sure, but it was like really packed out like it was really popping at the stk anyways i had put in stk dc which was not the correct address because apparently it's two different well it used to be a different stk but the other one's gone so it's just the one that's inside this marriott so kaylin went to the stk in the marriott we was driving in the uber all of a sudden zay looked out the window he's like wait isn't that is that the STK that she's talking about? Is she there right now? I'm trying to call her. It's not working. We realized, I realized, that I put in a whole different address. But it brought us to, like, Union Circle or something. That's where, like, all the clubs are, like, Rose Bar. Like, I knew where I was in that area because I've been out here before to, like, the clubs and stuff. So then I'm like, well, can you just meet us over here? So she meets us. We go to City Tap House. Um, just to get like a drink and me and Zay hadn't eaten anything like all day. So because even though it's not Ramadan, you still have like phantom fasting is the best way to call it. So when you get hungry, you just kind of be like, oh, that's just a hunger pain. I'll just work through it. So then we realized, oh, if we're about to like have a drink for the first time in a month, we need to eat. So we get some like random wings, sit there, have a few drinks, take a shot. Insane. I don't even do that anymore. After we take the shots, we get up, and he had to go to CVS. That's why we was in the CVS, to get these cards for whatever he had to do today at Howard's campus. So he's there now. It's currently 9.04 in the morning. He had me up since 7.30. But anyways, so we had to go to CVS to get that. After that, we were like, so, did, we, did I eat food last night? Oh, no, we had talked about it. We had talked about the fact. Oh, no, we did. We did eat. We went to this place called the Admiral. The food wasn't really that memorable. They had like margarita pictures. We had so we got a margarita picture, and we got these cheesesteak egg rolls. They were actually bussing. I was surprised that they had such great cheesesteak egg rolls. So we had the cheesesteak egg rolls. They had nachos, and I thought they'd be good, but they put this like barbecue sauce on a chicken that was unnecessary, so they weren't good. And the chicken quesadilla was like really basic, so we kind of just picked over that. Didn't really. We drank more than we ate, so I, we still didn't really eat a real meal because we split these wings and then had um what's that that random food but we didn't really tear it up you know what i mean so then after that we were like we're gonna go to this hookah lounge let's go to the hookah lounge we go to the mk lounge and i've been there we've been there before me and Zay. we actually had a framed photo in our house from mk lounge so we went there before and it was cool it was chill we got some hookah and some drinks but then midway through i was like oh i'm done i'm a done bun i need to go home immediately so yeah we came back and then we got america's best america's best wings are my favorite thing about dc i told you in the last video that they're they don't have like philly in philly we don't have like 
crazy wing flavors and all that. I'm about to show you my prize. Oh, even looking at them, they're so good. I got, these is them. I have a picture of them. Look at that. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these wings. I really, <laughs> I really took this because I was like, oh yeah, this eats. And they do. Anyways, these was the hot lemon pepper. And boy, was they hot. And boy, was they lemon pepper. They got the hot honey barbecue or something weird but he tore those up too america's best is my suggestion for drunk food i love their chicken wings i will order them again my mouth is about to salivate even though i'm not even hungry and the wings was spicy as hell they's gonna they're gonna hurt coming out but i am about to lay here but first first things there's a coffee place across the street from this hotel pete's coffee so we're about to get up get some coffee so i can lay here hopefully boo boo if i still can't boo boo i'm gonna go to the gym and walk on that treadmill it's coming out of me one way or another i can't i can't have this liquor in my system and i'm gonna drink hella water and i'm not meeting my friend sarah for brunch until 1 15 so i'm gonna lay in here for probably i'm gonna go get we're gonna go get okay this is the plan listen everybody listen to me we're gonna go get this coffee I'm going to come back, lay here, 30 minutes, chill out, take a shower, start getting ready. I wanted to go to Georgetown today just to do some shopping since we're leaving early tomorrow morning. I wanted to do some shopping in Georgetown, and plus I haven't been in Georgetown in like years, but I don't know if I had time. So I'll keep you posted, but right now we got to get up and go to Pete's Coffee. <sighs> I'm back in the room, lack like I never left. <laughs> I'll take your man and make him get it tatted on his chest. If you're not rocking with me, what are you doing? Because we the best. You may be out here looking for me like I'm Y Clef. Anyways, I don't know what that was about. But I just came back from the Pete's Coffee place. It was the first time I ever been there. Um, I'm one of those annoying people that if I don't know what to get on the menu, I just ask the people, person working there, I'm like, what's your favorite drink? And then they tell me something and I'm like, okay, cool. Just give me that. Like, I don't have time to think like you work here. I'd be doing that because back in the day I used to be a barista after I graduated school and I had this internship at Vibe Magazine in New York. I would split up my week. I would go to, um, New York for like three days out the week and then I would come back and for the remaining four days or three days in Philly I was a barista at this place that served uh what they serve popsicles pie and coffee and when I was bored and worked there I used to just make me drinks like I would just make shit up because who's gonna stop me it was just me working there what the fuck so I always be asking people because I know if you're a barista, you probably just in there making shit up. And I want to drink that shit because you really know the real, the real good good. So this girl told me to get this cold brew with oat milk instead of classic syrup, get vanilla. She didn't lie. Bust down. So fucking, so good. This is really so good. Hate the paper straw, but okay, whatever. It's fine. Love the turtles. And I got this butter croissant. I spilled half the crumbs all in the bed. You think that man gonna be upset when he come back? Um, nobody cares. It's like, just kidding. We bust down those wings and there's little stains on the bed from the wings yesterday. So it's it's everybody's fair game. I'm about to eat this croissant, drink this coffee. I should have got two coffees, but whatever. It's windy out there. I wasn't mentally prepared. I'm in this hoodie. No brought one. I put on my same pants from yesterday. Walk across the street. It was a lot going on. It's windy out there, though. I'm about to... Uh, Sit down here for at least 30 minutes, watch me some TV, and then we're gonna start getting ready. Just girly thing. Makeup is done, hair is done. Let me show you my fit. I just got off live talking to all y'all. It was so fun. Okay, here's the fit. I got on the Doc Martin clogs with just some white socks. My go-to cargoes, little white crop, and a little leather jacket. I didn't want to do too much because I, it's like really windy out and I want to wear white jeans, but the way it's giving chaotic and I'm already late, I just can't do that. So let's go to brunch. safe 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> we just left brunch. And let me tell you about, I don't know what it is that I give off when I'm in different places, but people love to talk to me. And I don't really get why, because I be looking normal. Like, I don't know. You're approachable. <laughs> I need to look I'm more unapproachable. First, two men at the bus stop. If you're going to be talking, if you're going to try to talk to somebody, you can't smell like ass and be trying to talk to them. It's Stop. too, yeah, you gotta <laughs> either pick deodorant or pick like, I don't know, but if you stink and you're trying to talk to me, that's a lot, one, that's overwhelming. I don't know where to look. So I'm just gonna look away. Secondly, I, after that, this has happened, mind you, we only have walked three blocks. All this has happened <laughs> three blocks. <laughs> then this lady comes up to me, I, she's telling me, I thought she was asking for change. I thought she said, I need some change. I said, I don't have any. She said, no, no, like that. She said, no, fix your chains. Is These she chains. Tried to, she tried to clock the fuck out of you. <laughs> no, she, she didn't. She got Nana chains <laughs> to worry about herself. But she, said, but you, she said your to, chains. <laughs> but the thing was, she said, fix your chains because it looks like it's choking you. <laughs> like, <laughs> she, she added that in. <laughs> Maybe she was looking out for you. I don't know. I didn't know she was looking out for me or going to rob me because how did you even see the change? I have a bag on and a leather jacket. It's so much covering the chains. The chains should be the least of your concern, but she told me to fix my chains. She's she's a real one. If you ever see her in D.C., she got your back because she had mine. Now we're just on a little nature walk enjoying the day. The breeze, the ambiance, the life, the liberty, everything. It's really bright out here. I like DC architecture. Let me show y'all. It is not really much to see. <laughs> I chose a really weird part to show y'all, but this is it. A lot of bushes. People want their privacy. Oh, I guess. QT. in the house matching twinsies twinsies twinning them twinning them anyways uh we back in the, the house it's been a whole entire day it is currently i left the house at 1 p.m 
it is currently 10 54 p.m and i'm just getting back in this room for the first time i feel like we was every well he was kind of everywhere around the world he had to go to howard h u you know <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> He had to go to HU, you know, and present and talk about the state of his fraternity or whatever. Pledge of allegiance to the flag, all that. And then I went to brunch. And after brunch, me and my friend Sarah, we walked around a little bit. That's when the lady told me I need to fix my chain. The whole time I thought she said, can I have some change? We was on two different vibes. She was trying to help your girl out. And then after that, we met my cousin and his girlfriend, Maya who is at this point is also like my cousin, but that's weird to say because they date, you know what I mean? But she's locked in. She's family at this point. So we met them. We had some drinks. And then we went to a Lily for dinner because I love a Lily. Or so I thought that I loved a Lily because we had went once two years ago at this point, Valentine's Day, and the food was busting then. Today, for some reason, it just wasn't as good. Like they had these Brussels sprouts the first time we went. They were cut super uh like thin and then like fried and they were so good because they were super crispy this time they took the brussels sprouts half them and then put some sauce on it before we also dipped the brussels sprouts in the sauce now that i'm remembering it was just the vibe was different of that dish and they have this hummus that has crab and falafel on it before when we went they put the crab in the center and uh little bits of falafel there too so you got like a nice crunch with the sauce this time they had the crab on the outside and whole falafel balls that's a lot for me to process so i don't know if that's still like my favorite but i'm happy that we went there and then we met his friends for a drink but by that point in the night by the time i got to a lily i couldn't drink no more i can only i have a three drink limit Four drink absolute maximum. I had hit three. It was over for me. I, I just can't drink no more. Now we back in the room. I have some snacks. I have this bottle of Avion, my go-to. Even though I found out recently that you're supposed to drink water out of a glass bottle because when you buy these waters and if it's in a plastic bottle, it really doesn't matter. It's really not good for you. So that's something else to stress about. I got these sweetest fish and an all-time classic, the Bunch of Crunch. If I had some popcorn with these, these would go crazy. But, of course, I get a damaged box. But it's hard to find Bunch of Crunch sometimes. I guess a lot of people like it. I don't know. So now we about to relax you know recap the day have a blast we leaving tomorrow we going right back home i want to he david has to set up my vanity let me tell y'all else let me tell y'all what vanity. else what you like vanity? i said vanity hater let me tell y'all what else happened today today i went live if you was in that live, shout out to you. It was really fun. I usually hate going live on TikTok because it's, I don't know. It's like scary to be entertaining for that long live. It feels like you put on a sketch comedy show. It's a lot of work. I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, so I'm on a live just chatting, chatting, chatting. And I mentioned about how we were, are even in D.C. because I just kind of came along with him because he was coming here for that conference thing so i'm saying that on the live this girl gonna comment and say why don't you ever post your boyfriend crazy that it, it gave federal it gave very much so cop it gave very much so cia agent it gave very much so narcotics officer it gave olivia benson but in the episodes where she be tripping it gave stabler it gave not my vibe but before i could even say anything y'all was really on it y'all was like where's your man post your man what else did y'all say you said it's nobody's business y'all chewed i fear y'all chewed y'all was right but it just it caught me off guard because it was in real life that's what i'm saying it's like putting on a sketch comedy show but whatever it was fun i'm gonna start going live more especially when i have my vanity so that's why we got to get back early in the morning so we could put up the vanity you got anything to add i'm not talking for my health you got anything to add 
Hell yeah, you see. And this and and on the live, I said that I can't be posting my boyfriend like that because he a Virgo. The personality is not gonna is not gonna transfer. It's not gonna transfer if you met him in real life, because he sit there in a bonnet, looking like Rev Run in a bathtub, eating peanut M and M's, like he got gifts to humanity. But that's just who he is. That's how he gives it up. You know what I mean? This is natural element. He would be doing this if we was at the house too. He, he think he the he think he the king and we the sorry people. Now he gonna turn around. Cause got you got peanuts in the bag. Just nuts in the bag. Ew, he ate it. Anyways, yeah, we we about to chill out and relax. So I will talk to y'all in a little bit. I forgot to add one thing. I want that game that has the two rings, rings with the strings, and that you got to drop it onto the, the thing, like the video, the clip I inserted, because I whooped his ass in that game. I'm so good in that game, and he was not that good. He was not eating like me. He was mad. He had to stand up. I was doing this sitting down with my non-dominant hand, with my right hand. Period. Say something. Something. <laughs> it's morning. We're about to head out and get on the road. It's like, let's see what time it is. 8.24 a.m. We want to get back in enough time to enjoy our Sunday. This is the room. All clean. Well, not really all clean, but just tightened up so they don't got to do so much work. Anyways, we're going to stop by Pete's Coffee, which is literally across the street from this hotel. Because I never had it. But I had it yesterday and it was so good that I want another one before we leave. So we're about to do that and then head to the car. We're back home after being on the road. Uh, I am happy a little bit to be back. It really wasn't a bad drive. I feel like the Sunday drive is the move, the way, the light, the love, the liberty. The weather is super cutie out here in Philly. I have the window open. And I want to go to the market, get that done for the day. And then honestly chill out. I think I'm going to edit this vlog today because I'm trying to really hold myself accountable, put myself on a schedule. So I don't want to fall behind, so I'll edit this today, and then hopefully I'll have it up. Maybe even the same day. I'm feeling, I'm feeling crazy. We're gonna to put together my vanity. Let me show you. I show the vanity. So this is her right here. She needs to be put together. I'm so excited for her to be put together. It's not that big, if you can tell from this like angle. It just has like a little drawer and like a lift up mirror because I'm weird. And I don't really like mirrors facing uh, the bed. It's bad juju, if you didn't know that. But I need the vanity because then I'll have like a space to go live, to do more makeup videos, to do story times. It'll just be a better area, like more centralized so my stuff doesn't have to be everywhere because I have been getting a few packages and I have stuff all over. If you can't tell, it's just stuff everywhere. So I need to be able to better centralize my stuff so I'm not taking up the whole space in this apartment. But nonetheless, so that's what I'll be doing today. I hope you enjoy. I had so much fun in DC. And I'll be back before you know it. Okay, love you, stinker butt. Bye.